Today we're going to learn about the Mexican control of Texas as well as the centralist and the federalist forms of government. The first one we're going to be looking at is the control. I like this because this talks about more control, you have more direct influence, and the less control, you have less direct influence. Mexico tries to control Texas. Go ahead and write this on your spiral on page 67. So Mexico's efforts to control Texas include all of these things that are on this little picture right here, okay? As you're writing these things down, this should make a lot of sense because a lot of these things deal with the law of April 6, 1830. Think FISTS, F-I-S-T-S, okay? Um, these are all ways that Mexico tried to control Texas and show that they had power over Texas. The next piece we're going to talk about is going to be the centralist versus the federalist forms of government. The centralist form of government, you're going to put this on page 68. The centralist form of government deals with a man named Bustamante. Bustamante is the leader of this government. The centralist government is a strong central government where you're talking Mexico City has all of the control. Um, they tell the states what to, do, what to do and the states will do it. The states don't have a say in how things are done. Then you have the Federalist, which is run by a man named Santa Ana. The, the Federalist government, think Mexican Constitution of 1824. The Federalist government means the states have all the control versus the central government. So the states make decisions for themselves. The states make their own laws. Um, the Texans and the those who are in um, Coahuila, Tejas, really like the Federalist form because that's what they've been under according to the federal con or Mexican Constitution of 1824. Um, go back and watch this video because I did go kind of fast today. Go back and watch this video and make sure that you have all of the notes written down. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a sorting activity with the centralist versus the federalist. So you really need to understand that the central government is centralist government is where the central government has power and the federalist is where the states have the power. Make sure you watch these notes, watch this video and write those notes on the pages I've told you.